Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Bitter's assignment 3 from module 1 that is Python for Data Science and topic is introduction to list. Now we are going to solve problem number 1 and the problem statement is a list contains the average daily temperature in degree Celsius of a city over a particular week. Write a Python code to swap the highest and the lowest temperatures. So this is a list containing temperatures of a particular city over a particular week. What we have to do first we have to store the maximum temperature from this list then minimum temperature from this list along with the indexes of that particular minimum and maximum temperatures. Then we need to swap the highest and the lowest temperatures. So first we will find the maximum temperature from this list for that purpose i am using max function max of this particular list variable then i am going to find the index of maximum temperature i am just going to type temperature here dot index of max temp so here I stored the maximum temperature in this variable right I used that one I'm just going to run this thing now we are going to find the minimum temperature from this list just use min function and the temperature right now we are going to find the index of this particular minimum temperature just use the temperatures variable dot index of minimum temperature now we got the minimum temperature and maximum temperature with their indexes what we are going to do we are going to swap them I am using the variable of this particular list of now I am going to use the index of maximum temperature here I am giving the lowest temperature for the index of maximum temperature. Then I am going to do the same thing for minimum temperature also. Just use this variable temperature of I am going to take this minimum temperature index. I am going to give maximum value here. Max so I'm just going to run this thing now I'm printing temperatures so you can see the output we have swapped the highest and the lowest temperatures you can just compare them so now we are moving to problem 2 measures of averages mean of a group is defined as the sum of elements in the group divided by the number of elements in that group first we will find the mean of a group of elements here we are having a list which contains numbers we need to find mean of this list so use this formula sum of elements in the group divided by the number of elements in the group First, we are finding the sum of elements, then by we are using len function to find the number of elements in this particular list. So, I am just going to run this thing. So, I need to print this thing also, right? I am printing this one also. Yeah, we got the mean of the list now we need to find median median is middle number in sorted ascending or descending list of numbers if the list has n numbers where n is odd then median is the element in the middle that is n plus 1 by 2 element if n is even then median is the mean of n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 elements so first step is to sort the given list 
so we are going to store that sorted list in this variable sorted prices i'm going to use sorted function so now we got the sorted list then we need to find the number of elements present in this particular list then we need to check the number of elements are odd or even if the number of elements are odd then we need to use this this function or this formula to find median or if number of elements present in this list are even then we need to use this formula to find the median so i am going to check that one then yeah length of sorted prices percent 2 equals to 0 if this condition is true then the elements the number of elements present in this particular list are even so let's do this yes true the number of elements present in this list are true oh so now we are going to use this formula to find the median because we are getting number of elements present in this list is equals to even so now i am just going to store length of this sorted prices in length list variable just going to copy this thing here now here i am going to implement this formula just follow me sorted prices of we need to we are changing this thing in integer int and just remove s here here yeah we need to use this thing length list length of sorted prices right here n is length of the numbers present in this list right divided by 2 here we are getting the index right so indexing starts from 0 for that purpose we just need to remove 1 from this thing just put minus 1 that's it now we are going to do this thing n by 2 plus 1 th so you can see what I'm doing just copy this thing here remove minus 1 because here plus 1 and will give minus 1 then it becomes 0 so just remove minus 1 from here and divided by 2 now we got median of this list i'm just going to print this thing here so you can see the output now we need to check which is greater mean or median i am just going to use this variables mean price greater than median price if we get true then median mean is a greater than median so that's true now we are moving to last problem problem 3 having a nested list sometimes might be a bit problematic an individual was asked to collect the names of companies in the technology sector while creating the list by mistake the last three companies were sub subsumed in a list as shown below you are required to get rid of the nesting here you can see in this particular list we are having another list we need to remove this from this list and we need to make a new list which contains all these elements so what i am going to do first i am going to 
put this variable last element equals to I am going to take this variable tech companies I am going to get this thing right this is the last last element in this list right so I am going to use indexing and get the last element from this list now I am using a new variable companies equals to I'm going to use tech companies variable here I'm getting this three elements from this particular list so use indexing for this thing then I'm just going to add this thing ten companies you can see the so can only concatenate the strings it is saying let's see yeah I forgot to run this thing that's why I got that error you can see the output so and do the same task another way here I am going to use just use this thing tech companies dot remove last element so it will remove the last element then first run this thing then what I'm going to do I'm going to use the same variable tech companies now I'm going to use extend function extend with the last elements first I am removing the last element from this particular list then I am adding that particular list last element to the tech companies you have understood right now I'm just going to print this thing tech companies so first let me use this thing run this thing again yeah we got the output that's it for now meet you next tutorial till then keep on practicing bye bye